also say I'm saddened um, today to hear about the passing of our owner, Mr. Bud Adams. Um, I've been with this organization uh, for over 30 years and have been blessed to be a football player here during that time, a position coach, and now the head coach. And I'll forever be grateful for all he has done for, Mr. Adams has done for me and my family. And uh, so I said so my thoughts and prayers go out to the entire Adams family uh, during this, um, this difficult time. And um, it makes you reflect back on, I remember when I first met Mr. Adams, I was drafted in 1982 and uh, made my first visit to Texas, never been to Houston. And uh, it was the day two of the draft, back then it was six rounds in the morning, I was drafted in the first round, so the second round was going on and we, I went to his building where his office was, the APC building, and his offices were down in the basement. And um, everybody else, the, the, the war room was up on the third floor, so I went right down, right down to see Mr. Adams and uh, wasn't sure what to expect, and uh, his office was enormous. I never saw a desk that big in my life. That was probably the first Texan I'd met, and uh, he was uh, very happy, very loud, called me over, I sat down, and uh, just to see his excitement um, for the draft, uh, being part of it, he immediately went back, uh, after I talked briefly about my Penn State, uh, where I was from, Pennsylvania, he went right to 1960, and, and when he put this all thing together, and just, uh, just seeing his excitement, his passion, for what he did, uh, the stories about uh, how back then he was the uh, he was the owner, he was the general manager, uh, he did everything but coach these guys, and uh, just very interesting to hear stories about Billy Cannon and how he signed guys and cut deals and uh, how he kept the league together and in the meantime won a couple championships. And I probably spent a good hour down there with him that that uh, that uh, first meeting, and it was all about uh, the Houston Oilers history and what was going on. I walked out there, felt like I I was with a guy that really loved what he did, loved the the excitement of the NFL. Uh, felt like, again, this guy's a pioneer uh, in bringing the league together what it is today. Uh, so it was exciting for me, because uh, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know a whole lot about the Oilers, and I felt in that short hour, uh, you know, it was, uh, I was going to be part of something special. I didn't know I'd be part of it for 30-some years on that day, but uh, I, we got along well. I just didn't know we got along that well. And um, so uh, he kept me around for a long time. And um, that's something I always remember, that, that first meeting. And if you're ever around Mr. Adams, uh, I think a lot of you have been. I mean, he loves to tell stories about the passions he has in life, and, and obviously this team was one of them, and, and so I'm glad that I um, obviously had that, that time with him. And, and really skipping ahead to even um, when I became the head coach, um, how we talked about that when I was officially hired, and uh, the times I used to spend with him, people always said, well, did you talk to Mr. Adams? Did you talk to Mr. Adams? Yeah, he's in Houston. I said, you know what? No, when I talked to him, I talked to him on Saturdays before games. Uh, he flies in on Saturday afternoons, and usually there's no one here in the building. And he comes in with four or five of his friends, maybe uh, gentlemen from other businesses he has, because obviously he has a lot more going on than the football team. And uh, I'd meet him here, I'd wait around uh, so I could spend some time with him. And uh, I'd walk through the building uh, with him and uh, with his friends, and we would talk about, uh, we'd walk and look at the pictures and just talk about the stories. And he would talk about the guys back in the 60s and the 70s, and I would talk about the guys from the Earl Campbell years on uh, that, I, that, that I had more history with, you know, the, the Titans. and and the, 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 as we walked down this hallway. So that was something I looked forward to. We never got real far because he, he told a long story. He, he made sure to get every detail in. And I, I just really enjoyed those Saturdays that first year as a head coach that we spent with different guys. Every, it seemed like every Saturday afternoon uh, having those talks. And uh, like I said, finally by the end of the year, we made it to the end of the hallway. Uh, but this meant a lot to him here, um, you know, being part of you know, the becoming the Titans. And I was glad that I was along for the ride for 30-some years. And, and uh, just a really sad day that um, you know that you know that I 